u and v are complex numbers where u is 2 over p cis pi by 4 and v is 3p cis 2 pi by 3. Find u times v, expressing your answer in polar form, r cis theta. Okay. So there's a rule which uh, you should know as calculus students. If z1 is equal to, say, r1 cis theta 1 and z2 is equal to r2 cis theta 2. Now, this rule applies when you, this is in polar form. So the rule is z1 times z2 is r1 times r2, r1 times r2, cis theta 1 plus theta 2. So the rule is, I have made a video on this uh, proof, it's simple proof. You use compound angle formula for sine and cos. So you have to remember this formula. This is a neat and a useful formula to remember. So uh, it's simple to remember when you multiply complex numbers in polar forms. In polar form, you multiply the uh, absolute value. Okay, you multiply the absolute value and you add the angles. That's a simple rule. So here you have got u. U is 2 by p, 2 over p. So let us rewrite. U is 2 over p cis pi by 4. And uh, v is uh, 3p cis 2 pi by 3. So when you're multiplying these complex numbers, so therefore you can say u times v is you're multiplying the, uh, the modulus, which is 2p times times 3p. Cis, uh, adding the angles, which is pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 3. Okay, so the p and p gets cancelled. So the p and p gets cancelled. So what is left over is uv is equal to 6. Cis. So let us simplify this. I have to make the denominator 12. So I have to multiply by 3. So this is 3 pi by 12. Multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 3. And if you want to make this denominator 12, I have to multiply by 4, which is 8 pi by 12. Okay, so as calculus students, you need to uh, uh, learn how to write in. Uh, radian form. So this is 6 cis, this is 11 pi by 12 is your answer. Just like